you know, my, my mother is very religious. And as a small child, I, uh, of course, didn't have my mind of my own. I just used to mirror everybody. I used to go ch into church with her, uh, even light the candles, uh, get down on my knees and pray. And in her religion, children are considered saint-like until they are seven. And suddenly, after their birthday, they become sinners and they have to confess. So when I was seven, she gave me this, this little book called The uh, Guide of Repentance, which had an extensive list of all the sins with the mortal ones at the start and all going on with the less serious ones. It's a really nice inspiration for a bucket list, actually. Uh, but anyway, she, she gave me this list um, where she marked all the sins that she was sure I committed. And I had to copy it down, write my own ones add, add to them, which she didn't know about. But the ones she knew about, uh, one of them was masturbation. She must have guessed that I was just too long in the shower or spied on me, I don't know. And the next day I've had to go down to the church to this priest who was this old tall guy with this huge beard. And I had to get down on my knees and confess to him that, that I've been touching myself. I felt unbearably ashamed. Uh, and at the same time, I felt that I am bad. For some reason, I loved it. Ever since then, this, this weird combination of, of shame and pride lures me in. And sometimes I confess compulsively to people who are willing to listen. For sensitive people like me, cheating is like a powerful drug that you should never try. Otherwise you get immediately addicted and there is no way back. For the first five years of my marriage, I was loyal. It was easy and natural. I had all kinds of thoughts, but I never did anything that even remotely looked like cheating. But then once I gave in to the desire and strangely, no one died. It was fun at times and very exciting. Eventually this led to divorce and then I had other boyfriends and cheated on them. overwhelming guilt, the overwhelming tenderness I felt when kissing the hands of my partner the next night after my little adventure. I enjoyed it so much. Nothing else I did in life. Climbing, singing, performing. Nothing felt as intense of an experience as fucking someone in secret. And the fact that I loved the people I was cheating on made this even more exalted. It's like something is broken in me and I don't know whether it can be repaired. There was never a happy time. I never loved her. I think I got married just to prove to my parents that I was capable of doing something big. Sometimes very normal people trigger the worst in each other. Bring all the darkness to the surface. We had terrible fights and it often 
good physical. I didn't start it, but the thing she said to me, she was an expert on my weak spots. And the better we knew each other, the worse it got. I once broke a plate over her head and she bled. Uh, I took her to a hospital not because I cared, but uh, because it was the only right thing to do. I remember those three years we were together as being on autopilot. I was like a hydro reacting to chemicals. And then one day, while I was at work, she picked, took the little one and left for good. I think she saved all three of us. In my childhood, we didn't have smartphones or computers. We just went out, chased each other, played in the dirt, explored the abandoned construction sites, climbed the garages and so on. One day, me and my pals, I think there were six of us, we found a cat with kittens. We took one of the kittens. It was gray and so very small. We put it in a puddle. <laughs> and began to throw rocks at it. And we laughed. <laughs> then it died. <laughs> and we just left it there. <laughs> and went to play somewhere else. I can't erase this from my memory. <laughs> and everything bad that happens to me, I'm sure I deserve it. I deserve worse. I do not love my daughter. I never did. It's possible for a mother, you know. I still walk the earth. I got pregnant accidentally. I was young, careless and naive. I thought I'd manage. 
After nine months of terrible discomfort, they took you out. I felt disgust. She was so ugly. I hated the smell and the shouts. You know how everyone's like. Children are a blessing. Of course, you will love her. You are just stressed out right now. To me, a child is like a pop song. You hear it every day, everywhere. And after a while, you think, okay, there is something in that. It works for many people, but not for me. I take care of her. I do my best. I have learned some tricks for the times I feel. I lose my temper. I go to the gym when I can. Drawing helps too. But I would give anything to be on my own again, to be free.